I'm Jennifer Angel, this is Stars Libra. Now with last week's solar eclipse in your solar 8th house, um, very powerful time for you to connect with people, collaborate with people, to uh, do some business together and particularly to use other people's resources. Okay, so um, and with the Mars and also uh, planet of communication Mercury also conjunct with the moon last week then this really should have sparked off communications that headed that way so if you didn't have that in your life then certainly the uh, the energy of eclipse can be felt for many many weeks and some people say for months down the track so um, you know that can still happen and certainly the eclipse can spark into action and a new course of action so it's like something new that's going to start off in your life and for you it's as I said about collaboration and working with other people's resources and very very positive. Now these planetary um, energies or aspects are now in the process of moving into your solar ninth house. Now um, Jupiter has been there for some time, almost a year now, the planet of abundance and expansion. Venus, uh, planet of relationships, is there in the moment and, and money. Um, Venus covers love and money and your ruling your ruling planet as well and Mercury the planet of communication is going to transit into this area of your chart on the 16th okay so this is your solar ninth house this is all to do with um, foreign affairs uh, working abroad or just um, broadening your aspects and particularly particularly with business and it's all about learning something new as well if you can gather the knowledge if you embarking on some people are to take up languages when particularly when Mercury's in the ninth house um, so but certainly it's a very very good aspect to if you to follow through on the collaboration of the eighth house a very good aspect to broaden your horizons and look a little for sort of further out and towards the end of this month there's going to be a, a very advantageous connection with Jupiter um, between uh, Venus and Mercury and Jupiter being the planet of abundance and expansion so it's sort of all leading up to this so what happens now or what started clicking over the last couple of weeks uh, Libra can really come to fruition by the end of the month now of course in the middle of all this in another week's time we're going to have the Uranus Pluto squares which can be quite confronting and that's going to be on your home base and relationships but we're going to talk about that more next Next week, okay. Um, one final note: there are some uh, some square aspects to do with um, Neptune in your sixth house and around communication. So you want to make sure that your communications, particularly around um, work and anything to do with your well-being and health that you know exactly what's going on there um, you're upfront with yourself and others and take responsibility and precautions that you need to to look after yourself okay all right thanks for watching I'm Jennifer Angel bye for now